Hi, I'm Jennifer. Welcome to our I Create Art tutorials. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about material exploration. In our different boxes, I have here a Creative Artist Super Bundle, and I have here a Young Artist Bundle. We also have our Healing Box, which has a lot of materials, as well as our Collage Box. And you can combine any materials that you have at home with anything that we have in our boxes. But having all of these materials, sometimes we give you instructions on what to use on each project. I want to let you know that you can always add more. We have here our apron, just in case you are going to get a little bit messy when you explore with materials. So I have here a little bit of the Model Magic Clay and it has a little bit of blue swirl in it. Got that there by using a marker. So I can add color on here and just stretch this. You can mix it so that it is all the way one solid color. You can also mix it a little bit so that it has more of a marbled striped candy cane effect and you can change your colors this way okay you can do the same thing with paint I take a little bit of my clay and a little bit of paint I can paint my clay while I'm working with it and also after I'm finished if I want to add some details on there. And again, I'm keeping all that color on the inside to start. And I can get different effects by adding color to my model magic or other clay that you may have. We have in here watercolors and we have oil pastels. We have colored pencils and acrylic paints. You can mix some of these different materials. Chalk pastels also. You may want to mix your watercolor and your chalk pastel. If you get your chalk pastel wet, you wanna make sure that you're using a nice sturdy paper. But if you get your chalk pastels wet, you can almost paint with them. You can smear the chalk dust around a little bit and get different effects. If you have dry watercolor on your paper or if you have pen work or markers you can put chalk pastel on top of those colored pencil can go on top also you can put your oil pastels on top of your chalk so some things don't work you don't want to put pen on top of chalk because your pen the wetness of the pen is going to pick up that chalk and that's going to change um, the, the usage of your pen, but you can explore a little bit. I have here some paper. You may want to collage and add extra bits onto a drawing by cutting. But you can also take a look at the difference between cut paper versus ripped paper. Everything has a different look and feel to it. And just because somebody does something one way doesn't mean that you can't do it another way. I always like to invite people or challenge people to mix their materials in different ways. Many, many years ago, I had a project that I was doing where we were painting uh, people and we were doing it really, really, really fast. So instead of just making a skin tone, we were to be looking for other tones in the skin. You know, if there's a little bit of blue in here or where there's red or where there's purple. And I had a hard time with it because I just wanted to make this one color and put that everywhere. So eventually I got to the point, I was pushed to do more, to do more. Basically ended up with a rainbow person. And my teacher came around and she said, just a little bit too far. Because I went too far, but I had to get through that exploration process, and I love those rainbow people that I drew. So 
it may not be the end that you're looking for, but you might learn something along the way in the process of mixing your materials and doing art in a different way. So I challenge you to enjoy the process and the journey and not worry about having the perfect finished product. So if you did enjoy this video, I do want you to click on the button up here and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.